Hello Year 9. Um, so today we're going to be going through um, a couple of processes on Photoshop to um, help you create your abstract photos. So the first thing we're going to do, um, or the first thing you're, you're going to need to do is have some photos available on your computer to edit on Photoshop and we're going to go through those steps now. So first things first, um, open up Photoshop and we're going to open up one of the photos we've taken. So I'm just going to choose this photo I've taken of a very dirty air conditioning unit. <laughs> um, okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to make the image black and white. So to do that, we go up the top here and we click on image and then adjustments and we click on the desaturate button. So that's made it nice and, um, <clears throat> you know, black and white. But what we want to do is really highlight the light and dark tones in um, the image. So the desaturate button works well to take the color out, but it also kind of flattens the, um, the image a little bit. So we're going to add a, a bit more drama in sense of the contrast between light and dark tones. And we're going to do that by changing the levels. Um, so what we're going to do is click on layer, new adjustment layer, and then click on the levels button. You'll see a little um, thing pop up here. We're just going to click OK. OK. So on the side here, you'll get this little kind of interface. Um, and you'll see these three drippers here. So one's black one's gray and one's white. So what we want to do with the black one is we're going, to, we're going to click on it and we're going to find the darkest part of the image. So as close to black as we can get and we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go over to the white and we're going to find the widest part of the image. Um, Maybe here, we're going to click on that. So what's that? what that's done now is it's made sure that in our image we have the full spectrum of tone in terms of pitch black and pure white. Um, and the rest of it kind of gets filled in in the middle. Um, this really helps in creating images that are not flat, um, images that are more engaging. Um, and that's really what we want to be doing. So I'll do one more as an example, and then um, you guys, with the photos you took the other day, um, as a test when you're trying out those compositional techniques, you should um, look at trying to do this process to those, okay? So firstly, I'm just going to open up another photo. And this is quite a terrible photo, to be honest, but the process is the same. So we go to image, adjustments, desaturate, and we've got a horribly flat image there. It's just flat. Um, so we're going to click on layer, new adjustment layer and levels. Click on the black and we can see a black section here. Click on the white and we'll find a reflective wrong part because that usually has pure white in it. And there we have it. So we can see that um, even though, you know, it's a terrible photo, we have been able to kind of add more um, more, in, more engaging features to it by having that full spectrum of light and dark in the image. So guys, what I want you to do is um, have a go at doing this process, so adding the, the desaturation and the adjustment layer um, to the images that you took the other day and then put those images completed into your v uh, digital VAPD and then can you please submit that to the submission page on the next page here. Okay, thanks very much guys.